Welcome to another Anarchism Research Group video. In this presentation, given as part of the Anarchist Studies Network online conference panels, Matthew Wilson talks about whether we should use the word democracy to describe representative systems of government within capitalism. Don't forget to click subscribe and like and share this video. We're going to be kind of quite brief um, and quite simple. Um, partly because uh, of the format, partly because of the time, partly because if I'm perfectly honest, what I've got to say isn't really that complicated. Um, and I think uh, we could we could explore all the little fragments of what I'm going to say at great length. But partly what I want to say is that um, maybe we, we don't always need to do that. So really, at root, what I want to what I want to ask um, and then answer is the question of why we call this political system democracy. Um, and when I say that, I mean why we as radicals, why we as people who, who in all sorts of ways um, disagree with the, the system that we, that we currently live in. Um, so I'm not just referring to anarchists who, who have, a, have a, a very explicit rejection of, of the state. I don't, I'm not talking about that, even though this is a kind of anarchist seminar, that's not really my concern. I just mean people who, who see the, the myriad uh, reasons why the, the system we've got is, is so profoundly flawed. Um, why we continue to call that a democracy. Um, so um, just kind of briefly separating it into two parts, you've got the kind of notion of democracy. So you've got questions of political philosophy um, and the, the, the many, many debates around what constitutes democracy and so on. Then you've got a more kind of sociological or empirical reality, the facts on the grounds of the system we live. And then you've got a kind of linguistic component of how we come to call things, the things we come to call them. Um, and then there's a second component of, of how we might um, interject um, or engage with, with those questions. So going through those quickly, there's, there's the, there is obviously there's the, a long historical political philosophical discussion about democracy, what it means, how it should be realised, if it can ever be realised. As I say, I'm really not interested in getting into that, partly because most of us are quite familiar with some of those debates and partly because I think it's slightly distracting for the, for the kind of matter of, uh, at hand, which is to say that regardless of the kind of niceties and the complexities of, of philosophical ideas around democracy and what it means, we can all point to just an infinite, really an infinite list of examples of, of reasons why we, we, we don't really, um, why we might want to, to pause and say, actually, these, the, the, these, these systems aren't democratic. So there's, I mean, there's very kind of simple procedural systemic problems, things like first past the post in England or the kind of college system in, in America, reasons why, you know, the actual format is problematic. There's issues of corruption, whether that's explicit illegal corruption or the, or the more kind of pervasive corruption that many people would point to of, of people being mailed to use money to, to influence, for example. Um, and then, of course, is the question of you've got the political sphere that is or isn't democratic, but then you've also got, for example, and quite obviously the economic sphere that isn't democratic and that no one even pretends is democratic, but that has a massive impact on our lives. So there's, there's a question there of, you know, why, we, why we're happy to call our society democratic when even, even by fairly conventional standards, only half of it is theoretically organised democratically. So you've got all those kinds of debates which we could go on and people do discuss endlessly, but stepping back, you know, it seems that the the kind of the primary reason really that we call it democracy is because we call it democracy. By democracy, we mean the system that we we have, um, and in that sense, you know, you might see the word democracy as a as a kind of empty signifier that that we can kind of pin to pin to other other systems, or we can you know we can fill with whatever we want. We just kind of as long as it as long as it kind of sticks to a few basic principles um it's it's quite kind of fluid in that respect and that's true but what i think concerns me is the fact that 
the opposite seems to be true. It, it's not just an empty signifier, it seems to be a very bloated signifier. It seems to be full of expectations um, about the way our society works and how we are expected to work within it. Um, and so my concern is that the the notion that we live in in a democracy is is quite obviously followed by a therefore and we see that kind of therefore endlessly through political rhetoric either explicitly or implicitly we live in a democracy therefore and so english british people european people will be very familiar with the with the debate around brexit and how that was framed in terms of a democratic debate um People all over the world will be familiar with the way that certain types of protests and certain types of behavior are, are navigated through that kind of discourse of we live in a dem democracy, therefore this behavior is illegitimate. Um, so we see a constant um, delegitimization de of things that we might approve of. And conversely, we see a constant legitimization of things that we disapprove of. Um, I've got no idea how long I've talked for now, about eight minutes or so, um, if we started when we should have done. Um, so my, my kind of, so, that, so that's the kind of premise of, of, of where I'm at, is, is why, why are we doing that? Why are we legitimising it? And looking at, um, looking at different uh, social movements or, or kind of various ideas, things, things around kind of performativity, critical performativity, various discursive um, uh, and cultural interventions to, to delegitimize things like advertising campaigns, for example, and very obviously political correct, uh, correctness um, and various ideas around that of, of, of recognizing the power of language, recognizing the power of, of symbols and trying to politically intervene in those in that language, in those symbols, and to, to modify or to alter or to reject or however it is, but a kind of political intervention. Um, and it seems curious to me that we haven't done that when it comes to capital P politics, um, that, that even people who are, who would, would, who would explicitly denounce, you know, almost every component of the, the political economic systems that we that we live by still refer quite happily and readily and frequently to the system as democratic um, and anarchists in particular kind of you know get caught in this curious model where they'll denounce democracy um, uh, in terms of being synonymous with the system that we live in and then in the next breath they'll 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 embrace democracy as the normative ideal uh, that they want to kind of pursue um, and it just seems to me that we're, we're losing a trick, really. And, and part of the reason I wanted this discussion, and it's not going to work quite so well on this, in this format, but I wanted to know what people thought and why people continue to do that. Um, why we don't call it what it is. Um, one, of the, one of the reasons, I think, is that we don't know what it is because we don't have a term. Polyarchy is perhaps the, the kind of closest we might come to, but it's not one that trips off the tongue. It's not one that's part of our cultural political common sense. We do have a binary, as we like to do with lots of things, you know, it's either democracy or dictatorship, or any number of synonyms for dictatorship, but it's still that, that half of the binary. We don't really have a terminology. And I think that lack of terminology also necess or entails a, a, a lack of, 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 of a concept of a country that that isn't necessarily a dictatorship, because I'm not suggesting that the UK is a dictatorship, but that isn't really manifesting the, the bloated signification that we have with a term like democracy that doesn't deserve that term. Um, so I want to I want to explore that um, with people and ask why people think um, they've they've continued to use that term and to, to know whether people think even if, even if it's a small intervention we we would benefit from from ceasing to do that and i think particularly as academics we've we've got a you know we've got a, a reasonable argument to say well actually 
we shouldn't be referring to this as a democracy because there's all sorts of reasons why we think that that's problematic but more importantly for me politically culturally as activists um you know to to, to intervene in that way and obviously if a few people start doing it, it's not going to have an impact but um I, I, I think at the moment the system has a huge le legitimate legitimized um, power by people, millions and millions of people who don't want to legitimize that power, legitimizing it in that quite simple but also very powerful way. I think it is, and I don't want to shy away from that, it is a basic argument really. I don't want to get into too much academic detail it is quite a simple argument that we're giving legitimacy to a system that i don't think we want to give legitimacy to and do we do we not want to think about that and that's kind of that's kind of it really